Okay, this is the uh, TCI the scooter number 14 and this is uh, this is where the tipple would have been right here and the ore crushers right over here and these are retaining walls right here you can see the sheer face that they had to cut off the side of the mountain and up over the mountain and down a haulage way it would be the number 14 slope mine the portal of course which is sealed uh, but this would have been the railway bed right here. It would have been a uh, uh, double rail for the ore cars. And uh, this was a uh, kind of unique system. The You can't tell, but it was at a uh, slight angle. They would push the ore cars way back up there on the side of the mountain. And when they released them, they would, uh, you know, roll on their own weight and by the gravity and come down here and a guy would stop them uh, and, they, and then when it was full they just roll it right on down here and then a train would come pick it up of course and take it over to the Winona centering plant but uh, this is uh, at least uh, the people at the park have at least cut a lot of this stuff out which is nice but uh, this is the remains of the uh, ore crusher foundation and I think sometime in the 40s they dismantled late 40s they dismantled the wooden tipple and they put up a steel tipple and uh, you can see some of the remains right here and uh, and you can see the uh, solid face concrete that they had to concrete over the wall there but I think, yeah, about right there, right here would have been the ore crusher. Right here, the foundation. So, uh, and you see uh, a lot of pipes coming out right there. But uh, that's a real engineering job to concrete right up the side of the face of the mountain there. And these are some of the stone or the concrete structures where the tipple sat on, like right here. So, all right. And that is a quite a long way up. So, all right. Okay, uh, this would have been the uh, the coal dock right here when uh, the hoist house down below was under uh, coal power and steam power and they would have offloaded coal right into these uh, docks right here and uh, pretty covered in uh, ivy and everything. Uh, Last time I was up here, you couldn't even see any of this. Uh, but uh, they eventually converted the hoist house and, of course, everything to electric, electricity, electrical power. Uh, but these are the remains of the coal docks right here. So, and. Uh, Pretty impressive concrete. So, uh, 
You can tell it's really old. A lot of porous concrete there. And the temple and everything is just right up there. Temple remains, or crush remains. So, all right. Okay, you got uh, still remains of the steps right there. The uh, miners would uh, walk up, or anybody associated working on the hoist house or the temple or crusher. Still got the remains of the steps, coal dock, and uh, this is the, uh, well, I believe this is the actual hoist cable right here. This is, I don't know, I think it's about an inch and three quarters, probably, and uh, it just winds its way up here past the coal dock, and uh, surprised that they didn't uh, take this for scrap, and they tore everything down. They just uh, ended up leaving it, and uh, this is the uh, this would be the first floor, if you want to say, of the uh, hoist house, and right here, and you've got to be careful walking around. Look for any kind of holes or anything because you sure don't want to go through this thing. And right here is where the big uh, hoist would have been, the hoist cable. Uh, that would have run all the way up to the temple and of course there were cars and down into the mine. And You know, some of these hoist cables, you know, they could extend uh, 1,500 feet, 1,600 feet. In length so this would have been a whole complete structure right here brick and the basement levels down there and uh, but uh, they built it to last and when they tore everything down it was mainly uh, they just left the basement pretty much intact on all the hoist houses along the mountain That right there is the basement entrance. I'll go in there. And somewhere right down in there through the woods would have been the pay office for the miners of the Escuta division here. So, and the Escuta mining camp is all out there. Still a lot of houses remain. Miners lived in that TCI built for them and they rented it a fraction of, uh, just a small fraction. So, it's a nice view. All right. Uh, one other note here. Uh, this would have been a uh, concrete laminated floor back in the day. Right here would have been painted kind of a dull red. And uh, one thing that a lot, all the mining companies did back when they were in operation, especially these hoist houses and underground, but the hoist houses were in remarkably clean condition. They were kept immaculate, free of dust, everything. I mean, I've been told you could almost eat off the floors. And there's a lot of pictures, old pictures, that the, the floors are just shiny. Uh, just in remarkably clean condition. That's the way they were kept. And uh, so that right there, <laughs> this would have been, of course, the hoist would have been here, generators over here, over here. But this would have been a dull red laminated, I mean, most likely dull red laminated uh, floor. So, all right. I'm not going to worry about breaking my light out. 
took some pictures. Pretty dark. That's what would have been an exhaust fan right here. You got a tree growing up over there. And this would have been the basement. And the stairs going up to the first floor. And this would have been where the hoist would have been right here. Yeah, no chance getting up those stairs, right? 